YouTube, welcome to Plain Simple. Today we're going to be looking at uh, jet engines, pure jet engines. Jet engines are not that complicated, well they're very complicated, but in principle, their working theory, they're not, they're, they're plain simple. Uh, just like a car's engine, internal combustion piston engine, you have four cycles. You have intake, compression, combustion, exhaust. While on a jet engine, you have those same four cycles all laid out sequentially, one after the other, all happening simultaneously. Um, starting with intake. This is the front of the engine. This is where the air goes into the engine. This is the intake and it's followed, it gets compressed by the compressor. After that, we have the combustion. After the combustion, we have exhaust. This exhaust is where the thrust is creating. The job of the jet engine is to accelerate a mass of air as fast as it can out the back. From the beginning, We have the intake, the compressor, one more time. As you can see in the compressor, we have a volume of air, about this big, going all the way around the engine. Progressively, with each individual stage, the air, that volume gets smaller and smaller and smaller, getting compressed. After the compressor, the air goes into the diffuser. This section here is called the diffuser. This is a divergent uh, duct. In subsonic air, a divergent duct, which you can see from here, the inside of it, di the both sides are divergent, or the cavity gets bigger. That slows down the air and compresses it even more. This right here, the diffuser, is the point of the engine where the highest compression in the entire engine is. You have atmospheric pressure, air coming in from the end, from the intake, through the compressor, getting higher and higher pressure, coming to the highest pressure here. Fuel comes in through the fuel nozzles. Right here, this is the fuel manifold. Gets fed into the fuel nozzle which you can see here. This would be the equivalent to a carburetor or the fuel injector in a modern car. That sprays the fuel into a combustor liner, which would be here, which is what you're looking at here and here. The fuel gets sprayed in there. This is where the igniters light it up. When the engine is starting, once it, run, once it starts running and self-sustains, you no longer need the igniters, but this is where the combustion is happening. This combustor can, this is where the fuel and air is getting mixed and burnt. When the air and fuel mixture burn, it gets hot, it expands, and it wants to leave out the back in a, in a hurry because up here there's a very high pressure, so the only way it wants to go out is out the back of the engine through the turbine which this is a three-stage turbine so it goes through here out the back of the engine the job of the turbines is to steal some of that energy from the hot exhaust going through here going rushing out the back of the engine the turbines steal some of that power to drive the compressor and keep the engine running. So once again, atmospheric air comes in from the front, gets compressed, squeezed, lit up, burn, uh, heated up, and expanded with the burning fuel, and it rushes out the back of the engine. Basically, that's how the engine works. Very simple in theory, very complicated to design and build and maintain. This is an inside look at a very old cutaway display of an engine, you have the compressors made up of uh, compressor blades, all, all these are comp compressor blades, in between uh, 
rows of compressor blades you have compre uh, stator veins these veins are the ones that do the compressing to explain it as simply as I can the compressor blades impart energy into the air and shove it back the stator veins grab that air slow it down and compress it and guide it at the right angle to the next stage of compressor blades these compressor blades as they spin in that direction as they spin up in that direction they grab the air and shove it back once again where it hits the next stage of stator veins that cycle keeps on repeating and repeating adding more energy to the air as the space gets smaller and smaller therefore compressing the air with each consecutive stage of compressor blades in the rotor this whole mass is the rotor and the stator veins are in between the compressor compresses the air runs it through the diffuser into the combustor where it gets hot and expands and then it shoots out the back and that's a very quick simplified view of a jet engine this is the view from where the combustor would be we're looking at the the fuel nozzle at the compressor outlet which is the diffuser you can see the compressor compressor blades over here the air comes in pressurized from the compressor it gets fuel injected and mixed with it it burns here and it comes out to the turbines through the turbines and out the back of the engine And that's a quick and simple view of a pure jet, turbojet engine.